Hello fellow movers, in this video we are doing moving out to the turbulent towers, an easy way to get all the objectives. To get to the turbulent towers, you go to Pactropolis City and head all the way over on the right here, and that is turbulent towers. Those achievements are trigger all the traps, don't trigger any traps, and ride the vent. We're going to start with not triggering any of the traps and we'll ride the vent. Basically there are eight traps there and you can see them and that's the pattern. And the two top ones are red, the bottom two are green, and on the right side where the two are top ones are red, the bottom two are green. And that's that's like an X pattern. Basically once you learn that pattern, you know you can cross two of them and then take a pause. Across the other two. And you just drag the water items to the right and the fertilizer ones to the left. Sometimes you have to wait there for the green light. Wait there for them to turn green and then you can go. And the fan, whenever that kicks on, there are three orange lights there. You can see those one right there by the bridge the other two is by those the other one is by that bridge but those will kick on I don't know if that really gives you much warning but we'll do the ride the vent real quick to do that you have to drag an item over here jump on top of that and then jump on top of that vent when the fan kicks on it won't blow you away but rather it just blows you out from the air and then you can uh, get that achievement ride the vent and get that out of the way Those are the two objectives there that we can do. So obviously I have to play this twice to get all the objectives. Oh, and if that fan kicks on, you can usually hold on to an item and just kind of push into the wall or push into the railing on those fences that won't push you off. But yeah, you have to play this one twice to get the, all the objectives. Whoa, that was close. So what was that? And you can just pick these up and throw them. And if they don't land on the platform, don't worry about it because they will respawn. Like that one didn't make it, but it'll respawn. Yeah, right there, respawn to the bottom right. And if I push it the wall, it'll keep you on there long enough to get by the fan. Kind of depends on how close to the center you are to. The closer you are to the center, the stronger it is. Deliver all that, and we've got a pro time. I tried throwing items up on the top, and it just, it doesn't save any time. It's just better to make one trip across and, you know, go back and forth until you run out of items, and then hit up top there and throw those items. There we have it. We got all the achievements except trigger the vet. And that's easy. You just trigger that one, trigger the next one, trigger the third one, trigger the fourth one, and so forth until you have all eight traps triggered. And then you will get the last achievement in Driven the Towers. You have to play it twice because the objectives are opposing, but that is the easiest way I've found to get all of them and the pro time for Turbulent Towers. Before you go, don't forget to check out our game guides for moving out to at FamilyGameSquad.com.